Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Wiley Wallaby. These are a flavored licorice. They were sent to us from Michael in Kansas, so thank you, Michael. They were actually made in Minnesota, though, so they're, they're made in the USA. This is the Huckleberry, and then we have watermelon. Uh, green apple and hot cinnamon. I, I'm excited about the hot cinnamon. I love cinnamon, so that's the one I'm really looking forward to. Like red hot cinnamon disc. And oh gosh. This just took me back. This smells like grape gum. Yeah, like so, bubble bubble or bubble You know gum. those, the, well, the, the little, the, there's some really, really cheap gum. So like you have like the bazooka that's in the little round pieces, but then you have the uh, green ones and you had grape ones. The green and the grape were always my favorite. That's what that smells like. It smells just like that. Uh, they're a little sticky. So this is huckleberry, fat-free, no high fructose corn syrup. It's vegan, all um, natural huckleberry flavored licorice. Delicious, juicy, and oh so wild. It's a 10 ounce container. Three pieces are 90 calories. It looks like Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. Or Silly Putty. <laughs> Flavor's good, and I actually like the texture pretty decent. It's not really, really hard and tough like a, like a Twizzler or something. Mm -mm. It's soft. No. And, and it's definitely not like a red vine. Mm -hmm. We don't like red vines They're either. really hard. Um, do you think the flavor is light though? Um, it's there for sure. The flavor's definitely there. It, it has a... Um, it reminds me like a cross between a, a grape flavor and a blueberry flavor. Thank it you. kind of it's kind of like those two, like what is huckleberry? <laughs> but it, it does have a blueberry type flavor, but it's grape. It's just there's something there as well. So it's, I like it's good. it. Yeah. I mean I wouldn't eat those all the time because that's not a flavor that I would necessarily pick, but it's good. It's ooh, watermelon. Definitely smells like warm. Wow. Oh. They still kind of have a Play-Doh kind of smell. These are the color of um, of uh, gum. Did I take too many? No. Take, you go, go ahead. You eat half of it. 90 calories for three pieces. Kind of a big hunk. Mm-hmm. I should give you one back. You know, they're a big, big hunk. Like, you have to compare these to Twizzlers a little bit. Um, Twizzlers are kind of small. Mm -hmm. These are big, thick. Mm-hmm. Thick pieces. Like, Kevin's biting it in half. You could get four pieces out of that. <laughs> oh yeah, I could easily bite it into three or four. Mm -hmm. It's good. Uh, what I like about it is, is it does taste like watermelon, but it's not really strong. No, it's, it's, a, not, it's a lighter flavor. Mm -hmm. So it's a candy watermelon, but it's just, it's not like, like you. most people have had Jolly Rancher. That's what I was thinking. It's, it's not, not like that. No, it is candy like that. It's just not to that intensity. Yeah, exactly. And I actually really like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. Because I when I like have a bag of too. Jolly Ranchers, I never pick the watermelon. I never pick this That's one either. That's one of my either. favorite ones. I never pick the apple either. Mm -hmm. And these don't get stuck in your teeth too often. No. Are these all 90 calories for three? Yes. But they haven't gotten stuck in my teeth at all. A little bit, but not, not bad. Ooh. That's like... Grass green. Forest. That's like the green color in our den on the wall. Oh, well, um, this is the green apple. I wonder, people that buy these all the time, I wonder how many they normally eat in a sitting. Because mm. they're so big. Yeah, but you get three for 90, that's pretty decent. Mm hmm Now. It's not bad. You're crazy about green apple. It's okay. The flavor's very light in all these. Mm hmm I mean, you know what it is. You, you, you 100% can identify. You definitely know what it is. But don't expect a big burst of, of apple flavor. I think this is the strongest one so far. Um, I, to me, that apple came across more than the watermelon. Yeah, oh yeah, I agree. Because watermelon's a lighter flavor anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I think I, it was equal to the berry one. But I do really like that green apple. Yeah, it's very green apple's not my pick all the time, but I do like it very much. Yeah, that's 
Now the one I'm most excited about. Which one were you most excited about? The apple or the watermelon. I really like that watermelon. Ooh, I love the color. Ooh, gosh, it smells. No. <laughs> I can smell from over And here. I love the color that we used to have. It's like cranberry. We used to have, do you remember we had a bathroom that was that color? Burgundy. Burgundy, it was burgundy. This kind of looks like uh, yeah. And that kind of looks like burgundy. Gosh, it smells fantastic. Wow. Um, it looks like beets. Or, it uh, smells so strong. It does look like little beets. Or uh, cranberries. Cranberry sauce. <laughs> really the first time, though. So it says hot cinnamon. Well, give it a second. It's not like a, mm. it's not like an atomic fireball, but it definitely settles in as hot. Well, what happens is you, while you're chewing it in other parts, you usually have one part that's staying still. I don't know why that happens, but I did. And that piece that's staying still is uh, getting hotter and hotter and hotter. It is, um, it does, turn hot mm -hmm. like a red hot mm -hmm. yeah like it, the little small red hots or the or the disc mm -hmm. but it's not as intense as a fireball no not it's, nothing like that no so it, like if you can handle a red hot but you can't handle an atomic fireball these would these be safe for you yeah. and i do love the cinnamon flavor yeah the flavor is definitely the strongest in that mm -hmm. now, yeah. these are okay it doesn't these are good it doesn't make me want to to switch over to snacking on licorice all the time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't doesn't do that for me. Right. However, if you already snack on licorice, these are a really good brand to buy. If I would say if you buy red vines or if or you Twizzlers. buy Twizzlers, you should definitely give these a try. Yeah. The same yeah, for are, people. I would good. say the same thing about people who like if you always buy Haribo, well then you need to really give Sour Patch Kids a try. Yeah. It's the same thing. So just it's nice to try other things because you might think your favorite is Red Vines, but if you've never tried this brand, these might become your new favorite because mm -hmm. they really are easy to eat. Yeah. Um, they did not get stuck in my teeth at all and they do have a good flavor without being overpower right and, yeah. I, and the texture is softer than like a twizzlers but it's not like it's gummy or anything no it's, it's still firm yes and yes so michael thank you very much for picking these out for us we greatly appreciate it if any of you all have have had this brand before you can tell us how you think they compare to other brands and thanks for watching